On land, sunlight is everything. Plants need it, animals chase it, and our days are guided by it. But in the abyss of the ocean, light never arrives. And still, life thrives. There are fish that never see the sun, crustaceans that navigate only by touch, and entire colonies of bacteria that eat chemicals instead of light. In caves, trenches, and under layers of ice, these creatures carry on entire lifetimes in a world of endless night. They have no eyes, or eyes so faint they are useless. Some have developed incredible senses to detect vibrations, heat, or faint chemical trails left by prey. To us, darkness can feel empty, but in the ocean's depths, it is filled with quiet activity. In these hidden places, life rewrites the rules, proving that survival is not limited to the world the sun can reach. Hydrothermal vents host ecosystems powered by chemistry, not sunlight. In the late 1970s, scientists exploring the deep sea discovered something astonishing. Towering chimneys of rock spewing black, boiling water into the abyss. These were hydrothermal vents, cracks in the seafloor where seawater seeps down, heats near molten rock, and bursts back out, filled with minerals. Around them, life thrives. Not by sunlight, but by chemistry. Bacteria feed on the minerals, converting them into energy through a process called chemosynthesis. Larger creatures, like giant tube worms, crabs, and shrimp, rely on these bacteria for food. Entire ecosystems exist here, cut off from the sun yet pulsing with life. For the first time, scientists realized that sunlight wasn't the only way to power life, that heat and chemicals alone could sustain entire communities. It reshaped how we imagine life, not only on Earth, but on distant worlds hidden beneath ice and oceans far away.